Hey guys, so today I'm going to be doing um, my January favorites video for you. Um, if you do like the makeup look that I'm wearing in this video, be sure and check out my video that will be up on Thursday. Um, it's kind of a, a birthday look. Um, so I hope you guys enjoy this video as well as that one. And please also be sure to check out all my other videos. Um, and also if you liked this video, please hit that like down button down below and don't forget to subscribe to see more like this and um, I also do makeup tutorials as well so I hope you guys enjoy this video and everything that I have to show for you for my favorites of my, the month of January so first we're gonna start out with um, something I use on my face to cleanse my face but the reason this I know it's been around for a while but this one is my favorite for this month I don't know why I've never really thought of it before but I get bumps on the backs of my arms pretty badly um, especially during the winter I don't know why sometimes during the summer it's not as bad but I started using this for my arms and I used it twice and I can already tell a huge difference. They are almost all gone, and I mean, using it twice is amazing to me, and it was two days in a row, and they're like cleared up. So I am really excited about that because I have tried so much stuff, just like um, exfoliators for like your skin and everything like that. It always seems to maybe do well the first time I use it and then the next day it's like it's all back but this has kept it away um I've been using it for about a week now and after two times it was basically gone so I was very impressed with this because I could really see a huge difference and it's a very inexpensive product um I think I got a set of three of these large ones for like nine dollars so that's not bad at all um but you are supposed to it says you can use it up to three times a day if you have very dry skin on your face or your arms or whatever you're using this I probably would not recommend that just because I know I have very normal skin but scrubs like this can tend to dry your skin out um so I've been using it once a day that's worked very well. I might try to, but I'm kind of scared to just because if this is working, I don't want to dry out my skin. But I really do like this product. If you do have dry skin, I would definitely use a moisturizer afterwards, um, even if you're just doing it once a day. But this has worked great for problems with my face. It helps cleanse your pores, and it also helps with acne. So I have very impressed with this product. So it is definitely probably my number one favorite for this month. But NYX concealers and um, like your color correcting. So I have the color correcting in CW10 and then I have the concealer in CW01. These are amazing, amazing products. I use the yellow shade to help um, clear up any darkness I might have under my eyes. And then I go in with the concealer shade, which is the lightest one they have in porcelain. And I use it for under my eyes to conceal any areas on my face that I want concealed. And it's also, I use it for like a highlight and concealer the same two in one. So it is great for that. I don't have to go in with a concealer and then go in afterwards with another highlighter. This works for both. So I really like these products. They're also very inexpensive. You can get them, I believe, at Walgreens, CVS, um, Target has NYX, and also Ulta. So I'm very impressed with these. Very inexpensive and great products. My next one is a primer. This is just a sample, but I'm going to get the full size. Um, but I wanted to try it out first. I do that a lot with a lot of products that are kind of more pricey and high end because I don't want to spend 30 or $40 on products and then hate it. So I try and get the sample sizes and see what I feel about it. So if you, that's something you kind of hate doing whenever you buy an expensive product, I don't know if I'm going to like this. That's something you could try out to see if that would help and maybe you would like doing that as well. But um, this is the Professional Primer by Benefit. It's very, very smoothing. I don't use it all over my face because I don't really need it. I kind of just pat it into the areas here and in my T-zone and then apply my Nevia Shave Balm um, to the rest of my face for a primer. But I really, really like this primer. I don't feel like it makes my foundation cakey or sticky or anything like that it's just very smoothing and covers up those pores any areas you might need that too my next one is another face product and it is the Ulta BB cream in light 
Um, I actually am really impressed with this product. It doesn't have full coverage. Um, it's probably more light to medium. So I use it on a daily to day basis where I'm just going to work or whatever I'm doing for the day. But I really, really like this product. It's very light. I have it on now. I can't feel it on my face. It does have pretty good coverage, but it's definitely not full coverage. Um, but I do think it is definitely buildable. So you could probably build on that coverage. I have not tried that though, but as light as it feels on my skin, it's not cakey or any issues with that. I think it would definitely be very easy to build with this. Then my next one is another, it's a high-end product, but this is the Laura Geller. Um, it is the Baked Gelato Swirl Blush in this shade Cantaloupe. I really like this blush. It's very creamy. Um, it's, it's not really, it kind of has a powdery texture to it though whenever it comes off on your finger, but it's very pigmented, but it's definitely like a pressed creamy powder. I don't know how to describe it um, because it's not like a real super, super cream, but the way it's pressed, it looks like it's a cream and it kind of feels like a cream until you apply it. Then it feels like a powder. I don't know how to explain it. That doesn't make a whole lot of sense, but I really like the shade to this. I really like the pigmentation it gives and it just applies so evenly and smoothly on your face. I'm very impressed with this product. My next and last product are two brushes. Um, I got both of these in my BoxyCharm, and I've used them, I know, in a couple videos now, but they are the Royal and Lincoln brushes. This one here, the biggest one is the BX90, and the other smaller one is the BX95, but they are both, um, this is a, like a pencil, a tapered, tapered pencil brush, and this one here is a tapered um, crease blush but I really like these I love how they have that point at the end so they're very good for getting in that direct area that you want to apply your product this one also they both blend very very well but this one is really great for blending out that crease area as well so I'm very impressed with both of these brushes and if you get the boxy charm then you know what I'm talking about because they are great please don't forget to check back every Tuesday and Thursday and please don't forget to hit that like button if you enjoyed this video down below and please don't forget to subscribe as well so i will see you guys next time